Hegels and today I would like to talk about the book Green Industrial Policy in Emerging Countries, which is forthcoming with Routledge now anytime soon. So green industrial policy, why is that a topic uh, which we find important enough to write a book about? Well, science tells us that um, in order to, to save our environment and to preserve our livelihoods uh, for ourselves and also for the generations to come, we really need a radical transformation in the way you, we use our natural resources. Now we know that this requires enormous investments. Enormous investments as such are not really a problem, they are undertaken every day, but currently they are still flowing into uh, many polluting activities, because this is where the profits are. Um, and we think that markets alone are not really able to change that situation. So we think that governments need to intervene. Governments need to uh, manage these profit opportunities, or rents, how we call it in, in the book. They need to create rents in clean activities and withdraw rents from polluting activities. Now, governments managing profit opportunities, this of course entails the risk of government failure. And from the book, uh, from the case studies that we analyze in the book, we draw uh, three main messages, or three main lessons to be learned. The first is policy learning. Policy learning uh, from other countries, so over space, but also over time, so policy uh, cycles, for example. The second is competition. Governments need to integrate competitive elements wherever possible in order to avoid political capture. Now, uh, the third is reform coalitions. Governments need to find partners within society in order to be able to implement the reforms that they want to see. Now, why do we think that the emerging countries are particularly vital in order to reach this uh, transformation? First of all, they are the countries where we see the highest growth in natural resource consumption and, for example, uh, greenhouse gas emissions, and we need these countries in order to preserve, preserve our livelihoods. Second, they are uh, very dynamic countries. They are very resourceful. They are the rising powers of the future. So we think that uh, by looking at these countries, how do these countries implement those policies? We can really draw lessons for uh, other countries uh, which want to implement such policies for the first time, but also for countries who already have these kinds of policies but are under pressure to reform them. So, yeah, I hope that I could interest you in that book and see you next time. Thank you.